Yeah. Shalawan. Shalawan, how y'all doing, man? Got IUIC out here in Vegas, man. What's up with it? You know me, man. I'm YLZ, man. You get a flyer? A flyer? Nah, I got a question. I, I got a question. I. You don't want the flyer? Nah, I, I got a question. I. Can you answer my question? I. Of course. Oh yeah. Okay. Whenever y'all ready. All right. Um, my question is, if who y'all call Christ, right? Now, if he is our sacrifice, why would the Most High say in Hosea 3, 4 through 5 that the Israelites will abide in the latter days, the latter days that we're in now, without a sacrifice? It never said latter days. It said they shall abide many days without a sacrifice. Yeah. It said in the latter days. It said in the latter Hosea? days. Hosea. Yeah, Hosea 3, 4 through 5, it says in the latter days. Aubrey, that's a good question, though. My name is Calvin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm going to show you what the scripture actually says. All right. It's not Hosea 3 and 5. Yeah, it's Hosea 3, 3 4. 4. Hosea 3, 4 through 5. 5. Hosea 3, verse 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, right. without a prince, and without a sacrifice. Why, why does it say that? Because we will abide without a sacrifice like we're doing now. We're sure. abiding without a sacrifice. The was Hosea. Right, that's a great question. You asking me? Yeah, what captivity was Hosea in? The Babylonian captivity. So many days after that is how long? The latter days. All many, scholars will agree that the latter days. days. The scripture says many days. I said, read verse through five. Five. Five, five say says that. afterward. Afterward. After what? Those many days. After we abide without a sacrifice. Shall the children of Israel return and see the Lord their God and David their king. And shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. In the latter what? So now. In the latter days. Says many days. Hosea yeah, is in the we're abiding many days now in the latter days. Hosea, That's what it means. Hosea is in what captivity? The Babylonian captivity. How many days until you get to Christ, the New Testament, from the Babylonian captivity? Well, that's kind of deviating After from Babylon, the question. No, it's not. No, it ain't. After Babylon, what captivity? What, what captivity after Babylon? Go ahead and just go ahead and just give me your answer what it is. Because why I'm saying why my question is, did you, do you remember my question? Yeah. What's my question? You said, how can Christ be our sacrifice if you quoted the scripture incorrectly and said that it says in the latter days we're going to abide the Bible. The Bible says. No, I, I, cor I quoted days. it correctly. No. No, you did. Yes, yes, I did. I, Hosea 3 and 4. Since you recorded. I said Hosea since 3, 4 read, through bro, 5. Since you record, I'm going to read both scriptures. Okay. Since you recorded, record this. Okay. Hosea 3, verse 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, mm -hmm. and without a prince, uh -huh. and without a sacrifice. There you go. And without an image, uh -huh. and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Yeah. Afterward shall yeah. the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God and David their king, and okay. shall fear the Lord and his God goodness in the latter days there you go that's so, all that's going to take place in the latter days says we're going to abide sacrifice. many days in the latter days how how you guys don't understand relax, that relax, 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 relax. We just are, you, for are you actually here to ask us a question because you want to learn or you have your perceived knowledge of it that you want us to try to explain so we can argue if you feel a way about that scripture explain what you think it is and we'll explain to you what it actually is important to the scriptures and precepts do you have a certain understanding of the scripture that you want to talk about? Yeah. Let's do that then. Okay, so with my understanding of the scripture, the proper understanding of the scripture, reading it in context, it says that the Israelites will abide many days without a sacrifice. Afterwards, after what? After we abide without a sacrifice, then we shall return. So we have to abide without a sacrifice in order to return to Israel. What was our sacrifice? Okay, we have to abide many days. In the latter days. Okay. Now You're we're gonna jumping. Get... No, it you said that in the things. latter days. You're missing the context completely. I'm gonna read it for you. Yeah, read it real quick. Three and four. Hosea chapter three and verse four. And verse five. And verse five. For the children of Israel shall abide many days. Many days when? And without a prince. So many days we're gonna go without a king. Without a prince. Without a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Without a king. Without a prince. And without a sacrifice. Without a what? Without a sacrifice Three. and without an image. Right. 
So let's let's start right there. Sacrificing an image. What image do we have now? Do we have an image? I mean, I think uh, real Israel don't have an image. One third Israel don't have an image. You guys have an image, obviously. Read verse four again. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice. Many days are going to be without a sacrifice, right? And without an image, mm -hmm. and without an ephod, mm -hmm. and without a teraphim. Right? Afterward, afterward, another time period. After what? After the many days. Read. After the many days. Now, did you not hear it first? Afterward, after we abide without a sacrifice. Exactly. After those many, afterwards, afterwards, after, those afterwards, many after we abide without, without, a without a sacrifice, sacrifice we shall read. return and seek read. the Lord their God, which we're doing now, aren't we? And David, their king. Right. Christ comes from King David. And shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Which is in right the now. Yeah, exactly. So who was our sacrifice now? We don't have a sacrifice. It says we're abiding without so a sacrifice. So right now you keep the law sacrifice? Listen, it says we're abiding without a sacrifice. How am I going to have a sacrifice? Okay, so who's your sacrifice for your sins? How am I going to have a sacrifice when it said I'm going to abide without Bro, one? do you sin? Go ahead, Zadok. Two different time periods. Many days, and from those many days, to what? After. Until now. So now, what do you have? Do you have a sacrifice now? After we abide without those many days, we shall return to Israel. We have now, to abide now, without a sacrifice. Yes, now he don't yes, want to talk about the sacrifice. He don't want to. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. listen. I, I just said the sacrifice. I said, listen, you have to let me talk, brother. Afterwards, after what? After we abide without a sacrifice, shall the children of Israel return. So what do we have to do before we return to Israel? Now, is it a physical return that it's talking about right here? Or abide without a sacrifice. Oh, we did that. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Real it's quick. physical. Because here's you got to realize. Literal. When you read Hosea, he's prophesying where? The officer answered it earlier. What captivity was Hosea in? Yeah. Babylon. Right? Mm -hmm. So now he, you, know, you know what time frame he's prophesying in. And then you have to realize where his prophecy taking place at. When he's seeing the vision that God's given him, what time frame is he seeing? Read verse 1 and 10. Watch this. This is going to tell you what Hosea 1 and 10. That is talking yep, that's talking about right now. Um, Isaiah chapter 1. Latter days. Right? Verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Right. We're the minority on the planet, Israelites. Read. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them. Where? Where it was said unto them. The place which is modern day America. Right? Read. Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. So in America, we learned that what? You were three fifths of a man. They could beat the hell out of a you, me, him, and all the brothers here and our children because we weren't fully men. That's why Hosea said, read that again. That in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Right, we were told we're not even a man. You saw mm -hmm. the civil rights movement, man, walk around with stands and say, I am a man. I know that. I... <laughs> When he's prophesying this, he's seeing us in the American, the American culture. There you go, ah. Huh? So what Hosea three, four, and five is talking about? Well, the American captivity. He said it. Now let's go on to another topic that I have, man. He said it, man. Hosea is prophesying about America. Everybody heard it. It's documented. Yeah, that is my point, is that we're abiding without a sacrifice many days here. And after we abide many days here, we shall return to Israel. And he just proved it. He just said it. He admitted it. No, he did. He said that Hosea is prophesying about us in America. Didn't you say that? Yeah, it's recorded. It was documented. He said it. He said it. Who was our sacrifice? Hmm? After the time of Hosea. He's in Babylon. You fast forward to Rome. Who was our sacrifice? I mean, we were sacrificing uh, sheep and goats, man. Who was after the animals when the Most High said he's done with those animal sacrifices? In Hebrews. You should know Hebrews, don't you? Or you don't believe in the New Testament? No, I don't believe in the New Testament. Man. I don't subscribe to the New Testament. Hey, but listen, though. Listen. I have another question. I have another question. I do believe in the Bible. I believe in the Old Testament. Old, apocrypha, new. You got to have the whole book, bro. Bro, I, I read the whole book. I read the New Testament seven, eight times when I was locked up, bro. Trust me. Check this out, bro. I know the New Testament, bro. Listen. Hey, I got one question. Oh, look at my brother. Look at my brothers. Look at my brothers. Hey, the wicked flee. The wicked flee with no man pursueth. The wicked flee with no man pursueth. The wicked flee. That's why you was here. The wicked flee with no man pursueth. <laughs> Y'all gotta repent and serve the most high only. Serve Yahweh only. You're in idolatry.